Hello and welcome back to the Legend of Heroes Trails of Cold Steel. We were hiding behind a tree because, I don't know, it felt like it. But according to the map, this is what will, this is what will, uh, what's the word? Progress the story. Should I go back to the dormitory? Oh. Never mind, that's just, really, let's just go back to the dormitory. So we can't even go to the town. Actually, something will probably happen on the way back. Guess there are cicadas around Trista too? That is something like a cicada. When I hear them, I always feel like that's when summer's really started. Retiring for the day, Schwarzer? Let's see, who is that? Oh. Instructor Nightheart. Instructor Nightheart. Yes, are you heading out too? Indeed, I have some business to take care of with my division, so I'll be returning there tomorrow. With that on the agenda, I thought it'd be wise to finish today's the day's work early. Your division? Oh yeah, you were sent here by the Imperial Army, right? Correct. But because of that, it's difficult to keep a regular schedule here. Anyway, while I'm here, I want to acknowledge the work you did during your field study last month. You mean the incident in Nord? The same. Reading the army's report, it seemed that armed conflict with the Republican army was a real possibility. While the intelligence division no doubt had a hand in resolving the conflict, you and the other members of your group played an integral part in averting a war. You deserve credit for that. Um, thanks. You haven't been able to find out anything more about the man with the glasses, have you? The one who hired the mercenaries and introduced himself as Gideon? Regret for, regrettably not, the intelligence division is looking into his identity, identity, but they don't appear to have found anything yet. Personally, I wouldn't be all that surprised if they had discovered something already, but chose not to share it with us. I see. Swarger, I'll be the first to admit you performed admir admirably out there, but I assume you're aware that luck played a large role in your success. Well, I... Reading your report, the number of arbitrary decisions stood out to me. For an army to function, its members need to work together as a group. United under the will of its commander. As an organization, it can't perform at its best if its members disregard authority and act on instinct. You've already been over this in class, I believe. Yes, instructor. I believe now that our actions in Norb were rash. That they made things harder for the lieutenant general. But if it weren't for our inexperience... We might have been able to capture the man with the glasses, too. If you understand that, I have nothing further to say on that matter. It's my intent to belittle your efforts. Your report indi indicates that you were forced to make a number of split-second decisions. I'm not suggesting that there is no place for flexibility and independent thought in an, organi in an organization like the Army. Jeez, I can't speak. Tongue-tied. But it's vital for you to understand the reasoning behind and importance of that structure and to respect it. Yes, Instructor. <sighs> Teaching cadets to respect and work within that system should be the job of their class instructor. Though considering her background, I was foolish to expect that of her. Her? You're talking about Instructor Sarah? Indeed. Granted, she's quite skilled, but she lacks the disposition and diligence of a soldier. I understand she didn't come from an army background, but with her position, one would hope she would pick up the basics. Oh, so do you know what Instructor Sarah did before she became an instructor here? Oh, she's keeping mum about that? I just assumed you were already aware. Before she came to Thor, uh, she was, uh... uh... It's not very uh, becoming of a gentleman to go around broadcasting a lady's secrets, you know. Come on, I wanted to hear what happened. No, daggummit, Sarah. Ah... <sighs> They both look about their 20s, probably. I Instructor Sarah. Instructor Valestine. I totally understand where you're coming from. You meet a beautiful, captivating lady, and you want to know more. But don't let hard-headed officer types like our friend here rub off on you too much. Got it? You always play by the rules, and you'll find yourself in a jam someday when you encounter people who don't. I Instructor? <laughs> you're one to talk. I hardly think a capricious instructor who leaves everything to chance is capable of guiding our cadets to greatness. Well, of course I couldn't do a better job than the ace of the 4th Armored Division. Or was that the Provincial Army? I mean, you've got the whole tradition and status or everything mindset down pat. Hmm. 
Looks like these two aren't getting along any better. First Sharon, now Instructor Nightheart. Instructor Sarah almost seems like she's spoiling for a fight. Who do we have here? Well, if it isn't Instructor Sarah and Instructor Nightheart. Ah, the, the history teacher. Uh-oh. Ah, Instructor Thomas? Oh, and young Reen is with you too. Simply marvelous. It looks like you're having a downright jolly time. Would you mind if I joined you? Uh, I'm not sure that would be... Uh, <laughs> actually, I was just leaving. Come along, Reen. We need to hurry back to the dorms now. We do? Oh, but while we're all together like this, what say we have a few drinks together and enjoy some quality faculty bonding time? I heard the two of you really know how to hold your liquor. I'm afraid I really must... I've actually just been hit with the overwhelming urge to drink alone in my room tonight. Now, now, there's no need to be shy. We're all friends here. Oh, I know. Why don't you come along with us, Reen? Uh, no. We're underage. I don't want to drink. We can't no, float a beer your way quite yet, but yeah. I'd be happy to treat you to something else. No, it's quite all right. You teachers are always so busy, I'd hate to get in the way of your quality bonding time. So, if you'll excuse me, I'll be sure to let Sharon know that you're having dinner out tonight, instructor. No, Reen, well, wait! What kind of heartless monster are you? Get back here, Reen Schwarzer! <laughs> well, shall we be off? I... I couldn't possibly. I need to depart early tomorrow morning, so I really must insist. Huh. Chapter 4, A Midsummer's Revels. Revels. Hang out in the dormitory? We'll hang out in the dormitory for just... We'll just check around. Okay. Oh, that's just a vacant room, that's what I thought. Okay, so Elliot's there. Achis is there. Oh, well, I can just walk into everyone's rooms. Gaius is painting still. And Eustis is looking up at this. Let's start with Eustis. What are you up to, Eustis? I'm cleaning my horse riding gear. It got dirtier than I expected while I was out riding on the highway today. Well, at least it looks like you're having fun in the riding club. I can understand that, though. Riding those horses across the North, North Highlands on our field study felt fantastic. It really did. If we were ever had an opportuni opportunity to do that, it, so again, I certainly wouldn't complain. Okay, then we'll go to Gaius. Wait, you're drawing, Gaius? I came up with a great idea for a painting during our field study last month. I'm in the middle of roughing out the composition uh, for it at the moment. Nice, I look forward to see the finish, finished piece. Huh. Sorry to say, but this one's going to take me a while. I have plenty of other projects to work on too, so I'm planning on doing this painting at a nice, relaxed pace. But don't worry, I plan on showing all of you when it's done, so I hope you'll look forward to it. Sounds good to me. Yeah, like, end of the show. Alright, we'll save Maki's for last, at least for the guys. I have to admit, I'm a little sad I won't be able to go to the Summer Festival this year. Since I grew up in Heimdall, I look forward to it every summer. That and... and what? And just forget I said anything. Oh, come on. Why is everyone... Everyone's always hiding something. Studying as always. Good evening, Green. Hey there, Machias. Still studying, huh? That's great. But make sure to call it a night before it gets too late. Don't worry, I will. Once it starts getting warmer, it'll probably be easier to focus on studying during the mornings and evenings. That's why I figured it'd be a good idea to start easing myself into new studying hours right now. I see. Looking around, I can't help but be impressed how nice and tidy your room is. I guess that shouldn't be a surprise, though. You've always seemed like the type to keep everything in its place. Is that supposed to be a compliment? Huh, of course. <coughs> well, it's just easier to concentrate in a clean room. You should keep yours in order, too. A clean room is a relaxing place. Yeah, I should probably take your advice to heart there. That was a little bit more... Alright, is Sarah drinking? Is Sarah in her room? Let's see. Thank you. Where does Sharon stay? Oh, uh, there's Laura. So Sarah's not here. But seriously though. Oh, she must stay on the bottom floor. 
Okay. Well, since Laura's here, we'll talk to Laura. <sighs> it's a rare to hear you sigh like that. I'm feeling tired, that's all. Lately, between sim swimming lessons and club practices, I feel like I've spent more time in the water than now. Than out. I guess I still have a, lo a way to go. Haha. <laughs> Your class for theme must still be bothering her. Alright. Whoa. Okay, Fee? What are you doing on a box? Oh, Rain. Are you okay, Fee? You're kind of spacing out there. I'm fine. Do you need something? Not really, just want... Wait. What are you sitting on? Weapons, explosives, all the good stuff. <laughs> she's 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 loaded with all the weapons. Whoa, just be careful with those. I know how to handle them. That's probably a bad thing, though. Huh? Nothing. I'm gonna sleep. Night. Yeah, good night. What does that say on it? I can't really read it. It's too faded. Uh, that's fun. I like that. She has her, her shoes. More stuff. Alright. Now it closes by itself. Alright, Emma's room. She's studying too. Good evening, Rain. Good evening, Emma. So, aren't those cards the kind people use for fortune telling? That's right, they're called tarot cards. My grandmother taught me how to use them. Girls seem really to be into that fortune telling stuff, huh? Well, how about you read me my fortune? Just something simple is fine, of course. Something simple. Hmm. Well, let's go with this, then. Just throw the shuffles or cards and pick one. Wheel of Fortune in the upright position. This card represents chance, change, and turning points in life. So a general reading would suggest that you're approaching a major turning point in your life. Huh. That's a bit fake, isn't it? Ah, sorry. I'm still learning the finer points of reading the cards. I am rather curious about this result, though. We shall see. And, of course, Emma... It's in her room. Then we have, yeah. Then we have the last one. Also at her desk. Where does she keep her bow? I just realized. She has a lacrosse up there, but where does her bow go? Because I see no place for her bow. Just like the little bunny rabbit. It definitely feels like summer is here, now that our swimming lessons have started. I was thinking about going to the boutique tomorrow to buy some new clothes, but I don't know if I should. We're almost always in our uniforms, so there probably isn't that much point. Hmm, our summer uniforms are fairly comfortable too. I guess I shouldn't buy trendy clothes if I, will, if I won't have a chance to wear them. It's logical, but still disappointing. Is that it? I wonder how my grandfather's doing actually. I can see the highlands being cool in the summer, but they're supposed to get really cold as soon as it hits fall. I'm a little worried about him now. Maybe I should talk to Sharon about this. Let's try Laura one more time. A different dialogue. <sighs> Calling it a day a little earlier than usual feels like a smart choice right now. I still have quite a ways to go. Yeah. Alright, we're gonna go downstairs. I'm curious, is Sharon down here? Oh, this is my room. That's right. Oh, there's Sarah. Ah, oh, there's Sharon. Lady Sarah returned home a few minutes a few moments ago. Master Nyhart was even such a gentleman as to escort her back too. I see. I guess it does take a gentleman to escort a stone dead drunk back home when he's plenty busy himself. It wouldn't seem that Lady Sarah had an enjoyable evening drinking with her co-workers. <laughs> I wouldn't be opposed to the idea of joining them sometime should the opportunity present itself. I get the feeling she'd place on the list of monster drinkers. Yeah, I could see her being kind of a, kind of scary. So is one of these rooms hers? I assume this is her room? This is a cute little room. Even a sofa and a teapot? That's nice. Oh, this. Oh, so this is the storage room. You alright, Sarah? You alright, Sarah? I'm back! Ooh, it's been a while since I got this plastered. Plastered? <laughs> Don't tell me you and the instructor and I here were trying to outdrink each other. Of course not, we hardly even drank anything. Now, Instructor Thomas, though, wow. You should have seen him drain those beers. I did my best to rise to the challenge, of course, but he just kept chugging away. Still, like, it's like the booze didn't even phase him. Well, knowing you, I'm sure you'll shake it off with a good night's rest. Really, though, have you ever thought of maybe drinking in moderation? Hmm, I think I heard of it before long ago. I'm not sure what she thinks I'm talking about, but I doubt it's actually what I said. Actually, any more dialogue from Sarah? Maid, where's that water I asked for? Don't you think I'll forget this? Tom, Tom, forget this. Don't you think I'll forget this, Thomas? I'll drink you and your fogged up glasses under the table one day. 
Why am I not surprised? It's alcohol that triggered her competitive side. Uh, that's the same thing. Well, that was all the dialogue we got for today. Time to turn in. Call it a day. We're calling it all of the days. Sunday, our free day. <sighs> Nothing like some sweet tea to help your throat. Because all this talking is killing me. Alright, let's read our stuff. Student Council Task July. Oh, only one word. Oh, just the old school house. Snapped. Rumor has it that a first year in the photography photography club who shall remain nameless, Rex, has been taking pictures of people without their permission and selling them to other students. If it is true, I need to make him stop for his own good and everyone else's. If you're willing to assist me, please come to the photography club's room. Fidelio, year two, class two. All right. Bridget, childhood friends and tensions. I've known this boy since we were kids, but I have no idea what's on his mind lately. To be honest, I'm a bit worried. Would someone be able to give me some advice on how to handle this? I'll be in the upper class dormitory if you can help. Bridget, you're one class two. And then of course this. Uh Alright. This month I would like class seven yeah, simply relax and enjoy themselves. That of course was a joke. Please delve deeper into the old schoolhouse and report back to me. You may begin when you're ready, but be sure you're ready for anything. Wow, they sure don't hold back their quest this time. Looks like the only must do is exploring the old house the house again. Guess I should start by figuring out which ones to take care of. The old schoolhouse can wait until later. This is the first free day I've had since we switched over to the summer uniforms. Probably get a lot hot later. It's nice right now. So might as well get the show rolling. Oof. Three? Alright. Oh. Okay, so Sharon's not in there today. Sharon back Sharon still in here? So I don't even see Sharon. Okay, so there's no one on this floor. I guess I can just go per floor and just check, see if there's anyone here. Alright, the person the guy is still painting? What to draw, what to draw. Planning on spending the day on, in your artwork, I take it? Yeah, it's an art club thing. The assignment is to draw something that's important to us. Then present our piece to the club. I'm struggling to figure out what I should draw, though. wonder if I can help him with this one. Mm, not right now. Not at the moment. Alright, so that's one. I didn't even realize that was a bonding point we had. Oh, so we can actually do one with Sarah? Okay. We got one with Elisa. We have a lot. Okay. Oh, we can't do one with Laura? Ooh. Okay. How do you think I know what my three are going to be? Fee, Sarah, and um, Elisa. I think those would be my three choices. I think, actually, aren't both of them in the upper class dormitory? No, it wasn't a photography room. The upper class storm one shouldn't take too long. Never actually been in here before. Actually, no, I have once. Fancy. Oh my word. Ah. Bridget. Oh, I think we've seen her before. You're Bridget from class two, right? So I'm here to help with the request that you sent into the student council. That's me, all right. And you're Reen from class seven. Now that we've established that we know each other, let's get down to business. Can you get started right now? Sure. Sure, I sure I can. Ask away. Whew, thank you. So you wrote that you're having some issues with your childhood friend? That's right, Alan from class four to be specific. From the same town and we used to go to Sunday school together. I ended up having to leave that school though, and I never saw him after that. So that's why I'm so happy to run into him again here, but... I see where this is going. You're an upper class student though, aren't you? I'm surprised you were trying to friends with someone who well isn't. Heh, <laughs> he well, is it that weird? Well, I wouldn't say it's weird, but it's pretty rare, isn't it? Well, it's true that nobles and commoners don't have many opportunities to interact with one another in Erebonia. I'm just the daughter of a baron though, so our family isn't all that influential. My father was never one to put much importance on social standing either. He even let me attend Sunday school on my own on my own since it was close enough to home. That would explain it. 
guess her dad is kind of like mine. She said, so what exactly would you like me to do? You said you weren't to, you weren't sure what he was thinking. I'm not sure why, but Alan's been doing everything he can to avoid me ever since we met up again here. He just gives me the cold shoulder whenever I try to speak to him too. That's not good. Any idea why he might be acting like this? Nope, not at all. Which is why I'm so worried. I haven't done anything that could have offended him the few times we've talked. It's not like he'd have some grudge from when we were younger either. We get along. We got along so well back then that we used to play together all the time. Hmm. It would be one thing if he would just if he was just avoiding me, but when he started treating me like that, like some sort of a nuisance. As far as I can tell, something seems to be have happened to him at the fencing club. That could definitely be related. Oh, is he the one who I saw that had been beaten by? What's his name? The High Arms. Patrick. Patrick High Arms. Either way, it seems like the quickest solution is to ask Alan himself. Slow down for a sec. Don't worry, I'm not going to walk right up to him and ask him directly, but he might be more willing to open up to another guy about it. I'll go talk to him and try and figure out what's going on through his head. Well, then, thank you. Okay, I better go find him. Actually, before I do, you know if he'll be at the Pencil Club today? Most likely, yes. We'll probably find him in the training hall. Got it. Before you go, Reen, please promise you'll tell me everything you managed to get out of him. If I'm to blame here, I'd rather know. Please don't hide that from me. I want to promise. All right, we started this quest. I want to go do that. I want to. Let's see. I think what I can do is I can go to that thing with Sarah. I keep forgetting I had this dash because I normally I would just run like this. But I keep forgetting I have my. I can dash. But Sarah's down here. Okay, let's boogie. Huh, I wonder what she's heading into the up the highway for. I mean, it is her, so I probably don't need to be too concerned. Should I follow after her? Yes. Right, let's go. She's gonna send us a mile away. Is she planning on taking all of them on by herself? Oh my word. Huh. Looks like I've got no shortage of dance partners today. Alright, time's a wasting, so let's get started. Hope you all can keep up. Instructor? But Reen, what are you doing out here? It's too dangerous to fight this many on your own. Let me help. Oh, I'm touched. Oh, so we're actually going to join and help Sarah fight him. I think I've got this, though. Why don't you just sit back and watch? And begin. Just listening to the carnage. We don't even need to see it. We already know what happened. Yep, they're all gone. She's so overpowered. I guarantee she's probably level 40. That <laughs> Reen's face. There we go. Easy peasy. Uh, wow, you beat those monsters so hard I felt bad for them. <laughs> How'd you like that? Willing to admit how awesome and cool your instructor is now? Well, I can't deny your skill at least. So you came out here to train then? Pretty much. I wander out here every now and then to lay into the wildlife. A gal's gotta stay in shape somehow, you know. <laughs> I guess I looked pretty dumb rushing in to try to help you out, though, huh? That's not entirely true. I appreciate the sentiment, at least. Seeing your dash and all worried about little old me made me smile. Alas, dear Reen, I don't want to break your sweet young heart, but we're teacher and student. It'd never work out. <laughs> Tragic. How will I ever cope? Anyway... <laughs> Now that you're here, you might as well get in on the fun. I think it's a special private lesson just for you. Well, ignoring how staggeringly easy it would be to misinterpret that, sure, I'll join you. In fact, I'd be glad to. boy. Sounds fun. So Reen joined Shark Sarah in a wild brawl against the monsters on the highway. And after he'd spent the last of his stamina, he made his way back to the dorm. Hey. Alright. Walk away, walk back. Can we get? Can we talk anymore or no? Well, color me surprised. I never expected you to be so concerned that you had to chase after me like that. It didn't end up making for a pretty good training session, though. Huh. And a tough one at that. I wouldn't mind joining you again, though. Huh. I'll give that in mind for next time, then. Did we level up? 25! Dang, we did! Nice! We're at 5,200 health. Seems legit, boys. Alright, so we need to go to the fencing club. And another place. 
Actually, oh, at least it's already here. Oh, she's in the she's in the clothes shop. Well, we can help her shop. Oh, with Sharon. Mm, I don't know about that. Actually, what does this place even have for sale? I don't even know. Whoa, my defense goes up ludicrously high. Frilly dress. Level 31! What the actual heck? They power leveled! They're six levels above rain. Oh man, that brings up my defense in ADF. Okay, we are buying this leopard print jacket. Yes. Equip. We are putting that on right now. Oh, there we go. Okay. I'm so glad I figure out that that's you can do that. Wish I tried that up before. All right, now let's talk to Lord. Nope. I'm sure that Master Gwyn will be overjoyed to receive a thoughtful gift from you, Lady Lisa. I do hope that you can find something suitable. Hmm. I'm not really sure what to pick. Okay, now let's talk. Hmm. What kind of clothes would he like? Are you getting something for Gwen? Yeah, Sharon's helping me pick some clothes for him to wear in the fall. After I was lucky enough to meet him, to meet with him on last month's field study, it suddenly feels right for me to send him a little gift. That's really nice of you. Probably pretty practical too. The Highlands seem like they'll get really cold once summer's over. Hehe, <laughs> they should arrive just in time if we send them in the next few days. Now all we need to do is find something that actually suits him. Might be able to help her out. I mean, you're a guy. Would you like me to help you pick something? I mean, I'm a guy and I wear clothes, so... <laughs> uh, like, both those aren't obvious. I mean, the guy part makes more sense, but I'm a guy and I wear clothes. Really? Nice of you to offer. A more masculine perspective would be much appreciated. I trust that you will pick out something fitting, Messerine. Mm. Well, this jacket looks nice. He does like to dress pretty well, so maybe something like this would be good? A splendid idea. A splendid idea. I'm sure he'd prefer that to a gift that reflects his age. However, he might not have many opportunities to wear this over in Nord. Mm, you're probably right. How about getting him something for his outdoor activities? He seems like he likes driving around and fishing. And well, that's a good idea. You know all that stuff pretty well, don't you? <laughs> I guess this is your chance to shine. Haha, <laughs> here's hoping I don't disappoint. Let's start by taking a look over there. Shoes? How about these boots? They're not bad, but I don't think they'll be that sturdy since they're a casual wear. Gwen's more likely to have hiking boots or something like that already. Mm, that's true. Hey, one of the hats over there might work. I think he'd like a good hat. He'd like a, he'd look good in a hat, and it'd be pretty practical since he spends so much time outside. You're right, let's have a look. What hats? Hee <laughs> hee. Sharon is enjoying this all way too much. Whoa, which one? How about this one? Looks good to me. The design on it's nice, so I think it's two, so I think he'll like it. Great, then we have our gift. Sharon, could you... Where did she go? Something tells me she disappeared while our attention was on those hats. She left them alone and intentionally. Maybe she was trying to give us some alone time. D dang it, Sharon. <laughs> well, either way, let's take this up to the register. Sharon's probably gone back to the dorm, so we can show her later. Yeah, thanks, Rain. Yeah. There we go. Working towards that. F link level four. Alright, that's nice. And thanks for helping us pick that the hat out. I'm sure he'll love it. Trust trying to pull off a stunt like that though. Oh, we're going to have words. Is that it? Yeah. Words. I love what she capped. She, she was like, we're going to have words. Alright, and then the other event was with Fee. I know I can do Machias, but I think Fee... She's the infirmary room. Can I take a nap with you? I assume if he's in the bed. Yep, there she is. Be fair. Well, if he's... I don't think it'll matter at all, but... Just for kind of practical. Uh, gymnasium. Let's 
go to the training hall. Excuse me, I'm looking for a guy named Alan. He's supposed to be a member of this club, but is he off today or something? Not with my permission, at least. He didn't even mention he'd be out today. Oh. In other words, he's skipping practice. Got a feeling I know where he is, though. I see. Where exactly are you thinking? I checked the field if I were you. Unlike Patrick, Alan actually cares about this club. Chances are he's skipping practice so he can train on his own. Well then, now that he mentions it, Patrick isn't here either. Uh, that's not really an excuse, but if I find it, but I find it hard to blame him after what happened. Come to think of it, what did happen like here last month? I've only heard rumor rumors. Rather than dig this stuff up, but both of them are skipping today, so that so what the heck? Truth is, Alan and Patrick faced off last month. Patrick, being this slimy little scrub he is, made a show out of holding back and still beat Alan down. It was humiliating, crushed all of Alan's confidence right out of him. I don't doubt it. That's why I'm letting him off easy for now. I'd like to see him bounce back from this, though. I'll tell you what, if you got some business with Alan, do us a favor and tell him to drop by. I mean, you don't have have to if you don't want to, but we'd invite. appreciate it. Of course. I'll be sure to tell him if I have a chance. Alright. And then where was the other place we were supposed to go to? So that was Alan. Yeah, there he is in the field. Oh, the student union building. What was I looking for in there? Well, I guess I can go ahead and trigger that other quest. I'll start the other quest too. Second floor, then. Oh, that's right, that's right. This was the, um, uh... No, it wasn't the chess club. Photography. This is what I want. You must be Fidelio. You sent in a quest about the photography club to the student council, right? Yep, that's me. I'm actually heading to head of the photography club. Given that you're a first year helping out the student council, I suppose that makes you the reen I've heard about. Guilty as charged. I believe you requested something about an issue with a first year club member. That's right, I was hoping I could handle it on my own, but that's becoming less and less likely. I really do want to stop Rex, though, so would you be though, so would you be willing to lend me a hand? I am. Of course, let's get him. Thanks, I really appreciate it. Like I said, the matter I want to discuss with you concerns a first year name by the name of his name is Rex, that's all I'm gonna say. Uh, apparently, he's been taking inappropriate photographs of girls without their permission, and to make matters worse, he's been exchanging them in shady details with some of the other boys at the academy. Well, that definitely sounds shaky. In fact, it sounds like a blatant violation of the academy's rules. Instead, indeed, it does. I'm not sure exactly what kind of photographs they are, but what he's exchanged them for, but the fact is he's violating the rules of the academy is clear. If he keeps it up, I wouldn't be surprised if he ends up suspended or even expelled. And that's why I want to stop him before it's too late. That's true, he's practically doomed if the instructors or the girls find themselves find about this. Find out about this. Speaking of which, have you tried discussing this with Rex in private? I've asked about it a few times in passing, but he always plays innocent. I assume he thinks it's safe to continue as long as he doesn't get caught in the act. I see. In that case, let's catch him in the act. Bust him while he's exchanging his photos. I wish you didn't have to come to this, but I don't think we have any other choice at this point. Boy, a word of warning, he's extremely... He's been extremely vigilant lately. I think I might have raised the issue one too many times and put him on guard. Which is why I'm going to ask you to catch him for me. Alright, see what I can do. Rex and I might be di maybe different social classes, classes, but have always seen us as friends who share a mutual interest. All I want is for him to understand what he's doing what he's doing and stop. But it does make me sad that it's come to this. Well, I'll just have to hope that catching him in the act will give us the chance to show him that he's what he's doing is wrong. I suppose you're right. Either way, he seems to have a number of prearranged spots where he conducts his deals. I managed to work out two of them so far. The first of them is behind the storage building in the field, and the other is near the old school house. Hmm. Those spots do seem secluded enough to get away with some shady business. He has a good eye for these things. You're going to want to be careful when trying to get near him, though. He has a knack for sensing danger. Tread very lightly. I'll keep that in mind. Anyway, I'll start looking for him in the two spots you mentioned. I love how the name for it is Snapped. Alright, well, we started this quest. And I'll find out probably pretty quickly. Actually, since we're already here and I have a bunch of money. Oh, Crow's here. 
Man, if only we could bet on the races, I'd be rolling out of here on the wave of Mira. Watching them is fun enough, but it's just not the same without a cash on the line, you know what I mean? Well, we'll just have to, just have to, we'll just have to deal with it. Rules are rules, unfortunately. Speaking of, I read something very interesting in a magazine the other day. Interesting, you say? I'm all ears. Oh, it's like they're both at the field. Well, the first fair, I don't know. Hmm. Which one to do first, though? For probably busting the dude, probably better course of action. Yeah, he's training over there. All right, let's just save real quick. down here. Oh man, this picture is great. Rex, you're an artist, a genius even. <laughs> I don't mean to brag, but you're totally right, I am a genius. Found him, looks like Fidelo hit that nail right on the head. I just need to get some nuts to see a deal go down. See if you got the goods? Of course, man, I brought some top quality stuff. Now we're talking. Let's get... Hold up. What's going on, Rex? Don't tell me. It's that Fidel guy again. No, not him. It's just a feeling. Let's split for now. We'll meet back up at Area B. Got it. Got it. Why did you get so quiet all of a sudden? What the? Gone. What do you sense I was here and run away? He's that way, right over these boxes by the looks of it. So this is what Fidel meant about him being really good at sensing danger. He'll be a tough one to catch. Not going to happen if I waste my time standing around here, though. Try to find out where he went. He definitely went to the old schoolhouse. Well, let's go talk to this guy, because he's also here. Come on, Alan. You're that guy from Class 7, right? Do you have some business with me or something? No, nothing like that. I saw you training out here and was pretty impressed, that's all. You said you seem a... That said, you seem a little hesitant, and it's getting in the way of your form. What makes you think you can just show up and criticize me? Is it because you're a noble? Yeah, that's right, I've heard about you. Should a high and mighty noble like you even talk to a lowly commoner like me? Or do you get a pass when it's con condescension? That stuff has never really bothered me. It seems like this guy is, has a noble-shaped chip on his shoulder. Putting our baggage aside for now, you came here to train, didn't you? How about you join me for a while? Me? Train with you? Yeah, it's a chance to practice in a way you wouldn't normally. In a, in a way you wouldn't normally. I'm sure you'd find it beneficial. What do you say? Well, I don't know what you're playing, but if it'll make me stronger, then I'm on board. I wouldn't say no to some big fancy noble who took me in time of just a busy day to ask me anyway. Okay, I'll go get everything ready. I wonder if Instructor Sarah will let me borrow one of the combat shells. And she gets a combat shell. Nice. You guys use this thing in class 7, right? Are we seriously gonna fire it? Looks. Looks a little intimidating, but it makes for great training, I promise. I'll, I'll take point for now, so feel free to attack as often as you like. Right. Bring it on! The following distance, Alan deals the finishing blow, and Alan is conscious at the battle's end. So we just gotta keep Alan alive. Combat shell Y. Okay, Alan. What do you got? Oh, so you have no arts at all. Go. Yep. Oh, we actually want to. Sorry, everyone. Yep. Did we win? You bet we did. Not surprising after that last attack of yours. That was a sight to behold. Th thanks. I feel like I've got my confidence back now. At least a little bit of it. Glad to hear. What's the matter? Uh, I feel kind of bad about all the flack I gave you earlier, that's all. I mean, you know all the high and mighty noble stuff. Uh, don't worry about it. 
there's some reason you got so caught up. Is but is there some reason you got so caught up in that? It's embarrassing to say out loud, but envy, I guess. I used to be awful at almost everything I did. Sports, studying, anything you can think of. Still am I. Still am really. But I knew this noble who basically my who's basically my opposite. She could try anything and do it flawlessly. I was always so frustrated by that. All I wanted to do was be her equal. But no matter what I did, I couldn't manage it. <laughs> That's a pretty lame reason, huh? No, not at all. But then now you're talking about it. it's Bridget, isn't it? How do you know? Sorry, I guess it's time to come clean. So that's how she felt. Now that I think about it, I really have been acting like a jerk. In your defense, I can sort of understand why you acted that way. Nobody wants to show their weakness to someone they look up to. It's not even that I look up to her so much. I just want... As I want her to just look at me. Huh, what do you mean by... Gah, nothing, forget it, I said anything. Ah, sorry. So that's the way it is. Anyway, if that's what she sent you here for, I'll go talk to her. Besides, I owe her a personal apology for being so mean to her lately. She needs to know that my issue was with myself, not with her. In fact, I'll go do that right now. That's a relief. Hope the two of you can smooth things over. Me too. Thanks for all you've done for me today. Perfect, we completed that quest. Nice. Alright. Ya yeah, boy, Alan. Now we're gonna go to the old, well, old school house, but we're not actually gonna do the quest. Hey you. Hey you. Oh, hey Patrick. See so you were hard at work again as the student council's errand boy. Though I can hardly imagine a more fitting role for the ringleader of a class of misfits. Um, he almost seemed kind of down after down after last month, like he regretted what he said. But it looks like we're back to the old Patrick again. What are you smiling about? I hope you're not expecting an apology for what I said last month, because if you're s if so, you'll be waiting a long time. I admit, losing my composure like that was befitting of my status as a member of the nobility, but I... Yeah, I get it, I get it. I don't feel bent out of shape or anything. So, let's just put it behind us, okay? Ch trying to f for to feign nonchalance, are you? Always have to be the cool one, don't you, Swarza? Hm. No matter. I'll leave you to take care of whatever menial chores you have been saddled, saddled with today, but I have no intention of letting you get the better of me again in the classroom or in combat, so be ready. <sighs> what was that all about? I guess that means he really has been dwelling on what happened last month all this whole time. Maybe he's not half bad after all. And Patrick's still a little bit of a scrub. 